Well, hello everyone. I'm Yanni from BUVU Gaming, and today we are gonna take a look at Post World. This game is developed by Screwdriver Entertainment, and first I just wanna say thank you for the beta key, so I have a chance to check out this game. Uh, it is gonna be released into early access on Steam on the 31st of August 2018, so in about a couple of weeks' time. Uh, it's a single-player hardcore action RPG with a non-linear plot, and the concept is that you have escaped from a secret lab in which they performed inhumane experiments on you, and now you have to try and survive in the wasteland. There are three possible factions that you can choose to join, but from what I understand you can also choose to not join any of them and just kind of fight all of them if you want to. But depending on the choices you make, there are multiple endings to the game, so you can play it several times and end up with different endings. And also the quests you get depend on the decisions you make. Um, they have a Discord for the game too, that you can consider joining if you are interested in following the development. And uh, the game features, well, a lot of weapon customization, for instance. Uh, you can make a lot of changes to your uh, weapons to make them uh, unique and uh, special to you. And the only thing I have with this game that made me a little hesitant um, with checking it out is the amount of blood. When I looked at the videos on the um, Steam store page, there is so much blood. It's a very, very, um, yeah, it's a very, very, very bloody game. Uh, one reason is that you can actually cut off different limbs of people and your own limbs can be cut off, I think. So you can uh, equip pr prosthetics. You can carry prosthetics with you, so if someone cuts off your arm, then you can put a prosthetic on instead, if I've understood it correctly. Um, but it makes it very, very bloody, which I'm not really a big fan of. It makes me think of slatter movies and stuff like that, which I'm not a really big fan of. But I am going to give the game a go anyway, because it might be a great game uh, apart from that. So let's just try and jump into it. Let's first check a look at the settings. Uh, for now, I'm going to leave it at this. I'm kind of considering if I should... Um, I think I'm going to put the quality down to high. Because my PC doesn't quite meet the recommended um, the recommended uh, requirements for the game, but it does it is a little better in some ways than the minimum requirements. So yeah, it's always hard to figure out and uh, know if your your computer is gonna be good enough or not, um, especially with early access games. So let's just try and say that and say confirm. And let's just see if you're gonna load for me. Try again. Mm. Was a little one with this before too. Okay, well I guess it because before when I said confirm it kind of showed a different loading screen. But I think that's because I changed it to full screen. Anyway, let's go back. Audio, that might be a good idea. Let's just uh bring this down a little bit. Well maybe not the master volume. Uh music, let's Bring you down. How loud it is. Confirm. Okay, that's fairly low. Okay, everything else. Uh, see. Yeah, I think we're just gonna... I'm not that interested in the music. Let's leave everything else and um, then I can always um, change it later. Then of course we have the controls. Uh, I don't know if there's any kind of tutorial in the game, but other than that, we're just gonna have to try and figure this out because there are so many controls. It's like every single key on the keyboard, at least every single letter, uh, letter, not letter, letter seems to have a um, a function. Here you can see V G F Y T M O C K J P H. Wow, it's gonna take a little while to learn all these keys. Um, but yes, that's of course the journal, the skills, K, that is at least something that uh, I'm used to. Inventory is tab, okay. Map, 
exit to global map M, that makes sense. Not sure what mate command means. Um, okay, reload is R, I should be able to remember that one. And then of course we have uh, the standard ones, you work with WASD and so on. And you can change these if you want to, which is pretty nice. Uh, there we go, let's go back. And then we have game English, what options do we have? Uh, I think this is Polish, but I'm still not sure. Um, this is in many of the games I play, but I still haven't figured out exactly what language this is. I just assume it's Polish. Uh, voiceover, English tutorials enabled. Oh, there is a tutorial. Nice. Okay, show melee trail. Uh, that's probably fine. I don't know if it's so you can... I don't know exactly what that means. Enable prosthetics camera. Interesting. Show NPC health. That's probably a good idea, but you could make it harder with no. Um, because then you can see how your NPCs, how uh, hard they are to take down. Okay, there we go. Settings, let's say new game. Okay. In the year 2020, it became possible to get comprehensive information about the inclinations, abilities, and hidden potential of people by scanning their brains and processing corresponding data. One would think that such a discovery would only bring prosperity to humanity since now everyone can choose an art that is close to their own heart. However, there were those who argued that the widespread use of such a technology violates the principles of freedom and equality, contradicts human rights, and carries within it the seeds of schism and segregation, not by race, but by brain structure. While supporters of these opposite viewpoints were crossing swords with each other in Parliament of leading world powers, the richest and most influential transnational corporations, TNCs, which assess any technology primarily in terms of practical benefits, put cerebral sorting at the forefront of their research, and it paid off. Within 10 years, the science departments of the TNCs took a giant step forward by having a critical mass of genius analysts. The corporation's leadership could predict with high precision the actions of the national government and manipulate them. Two stable or self-sufficient countries became a threat for TNCs, and the world since then has fallen more and more into economic turmoil. The advanced weapon systems had been sold somewhere, and the local conflicts around the globe were showing no signs of stopping. On top of that, there was the rivalry between TNCs themselves, which tried to undermine the power of opponents by all forces. In the end, there were times when destructive processes Takeovers, local wars, famine, epidemics, and outbreaks of religious fascism reached a critical mass, and that was enough to run a chain reaction, and the results were known a long time ago. Initially, the nuclear weapon was targeted at the Indo-Pakistan border and then the Middle East. Dirty bomb attacks hit Southeast Asia, weaponized strains of cholera in the USA. Apocalyptic cults appeared in thousands, tens of million people left their roots and ran in all directions looking for a better future. Cyberspace, social media and public consciousness became part of all large battlefields. One could get full and true information from the news but only by coincidence. And any new idea could be someone's plan. Mass psychosis became routine and its topics were changing every season. In response to the spreading chaos, the governments which retained enough power tightened their laws and left less rights and freedoms for their citizens. Property stratification reached unspeakable proportions. Moral tendencies turned out to be not an illusion, but a distant memory. The black monolithic towers of the TNC's headquarters were rising by the hands of their elusive agents, selecting necessary brains and transporting them to the rooms of secret departments. However, since the second quarter of the 2040s, the corporation ceased all activity and completely cut themselves off from the outside world. There were all sorts of rumours about what exactly happened in the bowels of these black towers, whether their residents died, crossed the Hayflick limit and established the full-scale cloning, or replaced themselves with an artificial intelligence. But the real question was, how soon? How soon until the ancient killing machines woke up to completely wipe out the suffering and ill human mass which was devouring itself from the face of the planet? It is said that man is a creature that can get accustomed to anything. But years passed and things were getting worse and worse 
and the number of those who would prefer a terrible end than unending terror continue to increase. January 9th, 2082. The first confirmed case of climatic and seismic weapons were registered. January 10th, 2082. Rockets soared heavenwards. The Corporation Towers did not suffer, since the warheads that were aimed at their surroundings were silently deactivated. Some parts were neutralized by national defense systems, but some rockets targeted strategic facilities, so that global industrial and energy infrastructures were mostly demolished. Although tens of millions died on the very first day, it was nothing but a warm-up before the true reaping started. Pestilence and famine had always been the most effective among the apocalyptic horsemen. Mankind saw its laws fall down like a house of cards as the most ancient one was restored. Kill or be killed, eat or be eaten. Cannibalism became a way of life in some regions of the globe until the 2100s when the human population decreased so much that it turned out to be more profitable to turn a prisoner into a slave and not eat them at risk of contracting an infection or one of the many deadly diseases whose numbers kept rising. Endless fighting for technologies, energy and clean water finally resulted in some sort of balancing state and the setting of borders that were of course quite fragile. Mutated animals emerged in 2034 after the Karishma incident and spread out after 2082. This catastrophe also created some sort of ecosystem. It was 2120. The century of the fall had finished. The corporation survived it and had also improved and multiplied their technological power. They could rule the wastelands or resurrect the civilization. The board of directors did not think it appropriate to waste such an amount of resources. Only occasional squads of armed operators appeared in the wastelands. That usually means that the research facilities of the corporations are running out of live test subjects once again. Okay, that was quite the interesting story. Um, I, st I think the, the quality of the sound though was a little, uh, made it a little hard to fully understand what you, they were saying. It was very helpful to be able to read the text along the way, um, except that it kind of ran a little too fast for when he was speaking but still i love the story i do love when there's a story element to two games like this so let's say press space to continue wow look at some of these pictures wasteland is a dangerous place one may die here of thirst poisoning bullets or banded axes inexperienced and poorly armed roma should avoid direct confrontation, search for a weapon, loot, and most importantly, try to become friends with one of the three main factions. Okay, I couldn't read the rest of it, but you guys could pause the video and check it out. There we go. Okay. Huh. Talk to head. So someone has been dug down, it looks like. Okay. Uh-huh. Interesting. I guess that's the guy who's hey, trying to talk to me or what. Okay, let's... Oh, stuck in the ground. Hey, hey, weirdo. Were you born yesterday? Do not stand with this kind of a lost face in front of the whole wasteland or you'll not live this day to the end. Come closer. Let's talk. I see you're a little confused, dude. Con... Tush. Okay, contusion. Or did you have way too much of uh, of life? Cross my heart and hope to die, the talking head. You look like cabbage in garden, but still has tons of insolence. What do you want to talk about? Perhaps you're gonna beg me to dig you up. So, how do I continue? Uh, left click? Right click? Base? No? Enter? No? Um... Oh, okay, I have to click on this. Haha. <laughs> yep, okay. Do not fuss. Two guys with big knives will soon return. If you do nothing, then your head will be put in the ground just like mine. Well, then I need to get the hell out of here. No, no, no. Be nice, mate. Help me. People call me Hernia. <laughs> Hernia. <laughs> okay, every wasteland raider knows me. Hernia is, a, uh, is an honest mercenary. Hernia does not do business with looters and psychos. Do not leave me here, man. I'll rip people's throats out for you. 
I had to believe someone called Hernia could help somehow. Why are you in this situation then, honest man? Have you been left here to die of thirst? Okay, why are you in this situation? That is the reason. I do not like when things go in a really weird way. I stopped the freak who was trying to have some fun with farmer's wife. Then his friends came and put me in the ground. They will soon return to check that worms are slowly eating me. So man, will you help me out? Uh, tell me about the wasteland. Yeah, we, we're gonna have time for that, of course, before these guys come back. Yes, for sure. Okay, very different people live in the wastelands. Farmers, vagabonds, raiders, hucksters, also mercenaries, religious rabble, gat men, and just fucked up idiots too. Okay, so the language in this game is not um, family friendly. Uh, some were able to unite, and as a result, the three forces are now fighting for the dominance over the wasteland. These are railway, railway men, slavers and cultists. Listen, I feel uncomfortable talking to your balls. <laughs> okay, come on, dig me up and I'll tell you everything. Well, still want more talking or maybe you take the gun and save our lives. Okay, let's consider you convince me. I'll help you, I suppose. Tell me about the railway men. Tell me. I'm kinda, I kind of want to know this information. These are the three factions. So let's see what he can tell us. Railway men have pre-war machines and a lot of kick-ass weapon. Their fighters first shoot and then think. Their boss is someone called Old Man. He remembers the life before war. People talking uh, that railway men have a working nuclear train, so when they come out to the wasteland, they will tear any army. Okay, so then let's check out the slavers. What do you want to know about them? They are not from here. They grazed cows and rams. Now they graze people like you. No offense, okay? They are hunters and hucksters. They know how to tame mutated animals. But the main thing is that they control all slave trade in the wasteland. Recently, they got a new leader. They call him Khan. People saying that his snitches are in each and every settlement. If you go to them without an experiment, experienced partner like me, they'll put you down and put on chains. Your life will turn into mowing a turnip on the field of some bandit king while dying from the lack of food, worms, and beatings. Okay, I wonder if that is something we can do. Tame mutated animals if we join this faction. That would be interesting. Tell me about the cultists. They are fanatics with a capital F. They supposedly re revere, yeah, revere the mu Mother Earth though there is nothing holy nor righteous about their faith. They eat potions and because of them know nothing about neither pain nor fear. Cultists deny any machines or firearms. To put it crudely, they are stoned animals armed with swords and axes. One is in trouble if he is in their way. Seeing, run seeing runs the cult. He is quintessence of a psycho. Oh, a skits. A schizo, I guess, not a psycho, a schizo, and a freak, but he keeps everything in an iron fist. You go there alone, and they catch you, and make you eat some mushrooms, and then you cut your hat on the altar stone in the name of the Mother Earth, without even a clue. Okay, so, yeah, it does seem like there's a difference in, um, like, the first one is probably a lot with firearms and machinery and stuff, and then we had one where they used the animals, for instance, um, and then these guys are like the complete opposite of the railway men, so no machines or firearms. So, hmm, interesting. Well, we'll have to figure out who we're gonna uh, take later. So, let's see, railway men, slivers, and what was the last one called? I've already forgotten. Oh, cultists. Hmm. I'm kind of curious about the slavers because they, if they, if you can tame uh, animals, that would be kind of cool. Okay, okay, let's uh, let's consider you convinced me. I'll help you, I suppose. Pick up a gun, axe, or shield next to the head and give the bandits a fight. Oh, we start out with having to fight already. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's say E. Not enough. Oh, not enough space. How in the world am I supposed to fight them if I can't even pick up that? Okay, I'm just left clicking here trying to... Okay, now no ammo. Okay, ah. Uh, do I have any... How do I know if I... I don't have any ammo on me. Oh, boy. Oh, come on. I want... Give me that axe. 
Give me the axe and let's just switch to that and let's try it again. Okay. Oh boy, I died. <laughs> Not surprising. But I didn't I couldn't even pick up my ammo. Oh boy, so there's no save. It's like you're just dead. Ah, interesting, but okay. Well, what if I say load game? Oh, there is an autosave. Okay, let's say load game and see where we are. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay, but there's these nice tips that you can read. So, better quality gun attachments increase its durability, accuracy, rate of fire, and clip size, and so on. Also, attachments can give a weapon new functions, for example, underbarrel grenade launcher, night vision sight, or automatic fire mode. And as you can see, in this case, when you're loading a, a save game, then you can press any key to continue. It feels like they're already here, though, so I don't know when we saved. Uh, or maybe not. Okay, so it saved right when we got into the game. So it didn't really matter. We could just have started a new game in this case. A new quest, a good and a bad. And a, yep, okay. Um... Yep, let's just jump through this. Um, well, we could try and read some of the other stuff. Hard to believe someone called Hernia could help somehow. Okay, you're delusional. I can see it in your eyes. You know nothing about our wasteland. You will be killed and no one asks you a question. You will not last until the evening without a partner. Got it. Okay, tell me about the wasteland. Very different people live in the wasteland. Farmers, vagabonds, raiders, hucksters, also mercenaries, religious rabble, gatmen, and just... Uh, okay, I think we read this somehow. Uh, I'll help you. Okay, so I have to pick something up. Let's take... Let's take this, since I couldn't get my... Get the ammo before. See? Then it just says I don't have space for it. Seriously? Okay, well, oh, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Can't even hit them here. Oh. Okay, wow. <laughs> I'm dead again. Seriously? Okay, they did say it's hardcore, but... Um, okay, let's just say load again. Okay, domesticated bone crusher. Good fat bone crusher is able to pull even the heavy loaded nuclear train wagon. Powerful and hardy, Bone Crusher is a real trading lo locomotive. Humankind insulted nature and she answered with Bone Crusher. Oh, okay, then it switched. Beast. Success is achieving the goal after a series of difficulties. Perhaps the Mother Earth found her own way to success. This looks pretty creepy. Okay, we're just gonna try again. But it, it definitely, I don't know why it keeps saying we don't have room for this ammo. That's quite frustrating. I don't know if it's because I don't have an inventory. Was it tab? Okay, here you can look at the available equipment. By default, only an equipment slot is uh, available. To unlock a backpack, pockets, or west, find an appropriate item. To perform a specific action on an item, for example, repair or drop, Right click on, on it. In a combat, you can use only equipped items and also. Hey. Oh. Is that why I can't pick up hey. ammo? That's a little silly. Because you don't have a backpack right off the back, and I guess hey, that might be why we can't pick up the ammo, because the ammo would have hey, to go in here. Like. Well, that's, that's kind of. Huh. Okay, well, we are just. Gonna, uh, well, I have to pick one of these to move on. Okay. Tell me how I can help you. Okay, banditos, which will come soon, put me like this in front of water bottles, shoe, and pistol. Well, they have such sense of humor, you know. Heard people saying there's many a slip tricks the cup and the lip. What? <laughs> They thought dying like this makes me more offended. You can eat the stew yourself since you do not look very healthy. Take the gun and prepare to fight. The gun is mine and good, has clear sight and beats what you need. As soon as those two appear, let them have it to their eyeballs. Okay, I think I need to take both the gun and the axe because I can't pick up the ammo. So if we pick up... Okay, let's try and say continue. Uh, I'll help you. Okay, so I need to do this. But can I pick up some of this other stuff before I do that? Oh, they're already here. Crap. Okay. Take this. So, chew. Oh, man. 
Okay, trying to aim at them is not really easy. Okay, then we need to use this. Come on. Oh, why? <laughs> okay, during the combat you can only access items placed in vest or pockets, so make sure you place everything you need there. Ammo, first aid kit, stimulators, also look for large vests. Well, it doesn't really help if I can't pick up the ammo. There is a vest or something on the ground, but I don't have time to pick it up before they actually attack me, so... Oh, I think it's a vest anyway that's lying over in the back. You can see that green thing. Uh, right around there. Okay. Let's try again. Uh, da, da, da. Yep, that's fine. How can I help you? Continue. Okay. Okay. Be fast. Oh. Picked up items are placed in your inventory. Press tab to open inventory. In combat, you can only use... Uh-huh. Did I actually get it this time? You found a weapon. Okay, this... Well, how many times did I die now before this actually popped up? We found a weapon. A weapon is equipped to suitable slots in the inventory tab. To holster weapon, press left mouse button. Left mouse button? Left mouse button works to shoot. One, two, or three. Um, use right mouse button to aim. Before shooting, make sure you have ammo in weapon, tactical vest, or pockets. Otherwise, move ammo there. Okay, you find a modular weapon. Each part of this weapon is responsible for particular weapon characteristics. For example, a receiver's responsibility is speed, but buttstock is recoil. Look for other attachments to get powerful weapon. Press C to open weapon modifications window. Okay. No, I didn't get my ammo. Okay, if I pick this up. And I don't know, I can't pick this up, I don't think. Oh boy. Okay, well, it's gonna be hard to aim at these guys. Okay, can I sneak? Very uh, well. Uh, they're still hitting me, that's not good. Oh crap, okay. And uh, let's try and hit him. Oh wait, I did it. I have no idea what I did. What? Configuration process, please. Uh, I, I remember your voice. People in white were doing something to my head. Did they put you inside? Who's talking? Show yourself, friend. Fiend. Yeah, I am hearing voices. Uh, okay. Correct. A personal implantable Ares type hardware and software combat application has been permanently installed into your skull. A third generation experimental development. A non qualified operator. Linguistic profile adjustment. My name is Errors. I am a machine that they put into your head while you were in Sigma-5, the lab. The place where the people in white were. Do you remember it? Hey, it was all like a dream because of those needles, I guess. Yes, I remember something. They were torturing me and I was going to be sacrificed. But then the underworld monsters broke from their cages and spirits helped me to flee. But why did these witch doctors put you into my head, a talkative spirit? Okay, yeah, I saw a lot of pre-war gadgets in perfect state there, never thought such fine pieces could still be found. Most of the time, though, I was being injected with some kind of drug, still feeling sick from them. I remember the operating room, then everything turned upside down, muted beasts emerged from somewhere, never seen such monsters before. I managed to escape, but why would they plant such a thing into my head? Wow, there's many options here. You sure as hell as I do, though they were keeping me... Um, yeah, high most of the time. Couldn't tell what was real and what wasn't from all the drugs they gave me. I quietly did a runner when she had hit the fan, but why would these bastards cut my bra brains open? Uh, okay, let's just take the first one. Despite all the evident advantages of the product of my series, as well as the possibilities they grant the operator, Satisfactory implant person interaction can only be achieved in 0.04% of cases. In other cases, the operator's combat effectiveness is rapidly reduced, and death follows. Since the tests required to waste a lot of human resources, it was decided to find subjects who would not be employees of the corporation. In other words, to catch them throughout the wastelands. 
Oh, but I survived, so I'm the chosen one. I've seen dozens, hundreds of subjects, so they were all put on death row to test a talking piece of metal. How sweet. What's this corporation you spoke its about? Its current name is United Ascension Inc. But I don't think that means anything to you, as it is of a higher importance. They are very well organized, own pre-war technologies, and are likely to make every effort to get me back. Hmm. Uh, wait, are you saying that I'm in danger? Also, why aren't you trying to make me go back to them? Aren't you supposed to have some kind of program which prevents you from going against your makers? I am an experimental prototype, so I have no loyalty settings. However, my makers have classified self-learning as my top priority. I have been programmed to evolve as part of an autonomous operator implant combat unit. Complicated and non-standard tactical situations non-trivial tasks. They all contribute to a more effective learning process. To put it simply, I like problems. And currently, you have more than any test polygon can provide. <laughs> Interesting. So what good are you to me and what's so special about your prototype? I am able to significantly improve the operator's combat effectiveness, optimize the nervous system's efficiency, metabolism, and other body functions. Enhance speed, strength, and endurance. In addition, I have the complete database on tactics, weaponry, theory and practice of martial arts, use of and means of restraint. Whoa, well, go ahead, I'm ready. Make me taller, faster, and stronger. Teach me everything you it's know. It's not that easy. Generating necessary neural pathways requires time, as well as knowledge of how your nervous system works in extreme circumstances. The more you fight, the sooner I will have enough data to perform the optimization. Still, judging by the way you have dealt with these two, I will have to do my work from the ground up. <laughs> yeah. They're dead, not me. What else do you want? By the way, they might have some food. I'd better search their pockets. Who are you? Well, there's plenty of work for you ahead, Eris. I never run away from a good fight. If these corporate goons show their faces, they're as good as dead. Okay, let's just say the, the first one. The effectiveness of these two enemies turned out to be even lower than yours. But sooner or later, you will have to face the corporate agents. You won't last the second against them. Most likely, they will decapitate you, freeze your head, and take it back to the closest research facility. My hardware will be dismantled, and I'll go back to low productive, routine training on simulators and synthetic tests. This scenario is inconsistent with my program. Crap, what do you recommend I do? I have already mentioned that I am able to greatly increase the operator's combat effectiveness if the latter has regular effective training. So my advice is to practice. Additionally, your current equipment is simply deplorable. However, the analysis of my database allows me to assume with a high degree of probability that there are still enough units of effective weaponry and equipment in this part of the wastelands. Moreover, according to the Corporate Intelligence's recent reports, this region has a rather high population density. There are a few militarized organizations. They could become your allies, at least for some time. But I strongly recommend to be cautious. The corporation has agents amongst the locals, and over-intensive activity may draw their attention by itself. By the way, you'd better leave right now. You are still too close to the expected area of surge, Operator. Hmm. Don't tell me what to do. Listen, I'll become this experienced, well-armed and respected fighter, but it's my own choice, and not something that a voice in my head has, to has told me to do. And for your information, the reason I'm getting out of here is that these two freaks have already started to stink. Okay, whoa, those guys from the corporation spread, uh, spared no effort building you. You're such a smart AI program, that's for sure. What else would you recommend? Not to point a gun at my face? Not to go near green barrels without lead paint pants? Sigh. It's kind of obvious that I should get out of here. Agreed, let's go. Uh, okay. You found a suit. Some items from the suit can be assigned to short keys. To assign item to short key, right mouse button, click on it, uh, inventory tab, and select assign. Um, okay. Also notice ammo and grenades can be used only from suit and vest. You're injured. Find cover and heal wounds. First aid kits and surgical kits allow you to restore health. 
To use first aid kit placed in width or pocket in combat, assign it to shirt key in inventory tab. Press O to open state window. You achieve new level, press K to open skill tree window. Oh boy. Okay, so let's say inspect. Yay! Oh boy, yep. Okay, I can look at my equipment. So let's just say take all. Uh, I can't take the suit. I want the suit too. Oh, I don't have a. Um, I don't have a. Okay, so I can take this stuff. So we got a grenade. We got some ammo. We got a tomato. We got holy rage. What is this? Usable item plus 50 maximum weight increased and melee damage increased. So is that like permanent? Uh, okay. Uh, I'm not sure how I use the stuff in my pockets though. Grenade, holy rage. And da, 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 that's a, a syringe of some kind. Okay, let's take a look at this. Casual suit equipped. It doesn't really do much of anything. Has 15 out of 30 durability, for weight, price 20. Okay, what if I take this one? Military suit. Uh, dur durability is not that high, but uh, almost the same as mine. Higher price, and it gives us some armor and physical damage resistance. I kind of want his suit instead. There we go, we don't have a backpack yet, so there we go. You found drugs. To use drugs, right mouse button click on it in inventory tab and select use to assign drugs placed in vest or pockets to short keys right mouse button click on it inventory tab and select assign you found a grenade grenade is a good way to deal with several enemies to use grenade it must be placed in vest or pockets press and hold g to aim and throw a grenade okay you found supplies food and water are necessary to survive longer in the wasteland Use supplies, right click on it in your inventory and select use. Okay. And if we hit O, I think it was, here you can get detailed information about the character state. The character can acquire negative effects. To eliminate them or vice versa, acquire a positive effect, use a medicine and drugs. If the character lost a body part, you, then you can replace it with augmented one. The character has different resistance stats which can be changed via special equipment. Okay, so 054 out of 200, so it looks like my torso and my head is a little damaged, if I understood then these numbers correctly, and my one of my legs is a little damaged. Okay, I have a tomato, I'm not sure what that means, 1WR. So health is a little bit low, but it's okay. Energy food, water stamina, okay, inventory modifications. Here you can modify a weapon. To modify a weapon, choose it from a list of, at the right and choose a weapon attachment category. After that, choose a weapon attachment that you have. Yeah, so we have to get some attachments first, but you can see we have a modular pistol, but we don't really have... Uh, well, these are already part of it, but we don't have anything else available. Okay, so we are level 2. If we go to skills, here you can get detailed information about an, uh, available skills and also learn new. Each skill requires one skill point. Some skills are not available until all previous skills in the same skill chain are unlocked. Okay. Uh, I have two skill points. Okay, if I click. Oh, okay. Pistols increase accuracy and reduce recoil for one-handed firearms. Or we can go in here, increase the efficiency of repair kits. Uh, increase effectiveness of medicine. Increase damage of melee attacks. Increase bleeding resistance by 50. That could be handy. Uh, burglar ability to open simple locks. Oh, I would like that too. Okay, well, right now, let's just say increase accuracy and reduce recoil for one-handed firearms. Isn't that two-handed firearms that we can increase to something for? Oh, that comes later. Okay, so let's say acquire. And then I was thinking this one. I would like to open simple locks. Let's do that. Yeah. Let's just do that. And we can carry 50 kilograms. Okay, so... Uh, let's do this. So, f Okay, number four is the syringe. But that seems to increase my... That should increase my carrier weight, right? So if I say four, use that. Then we go to inventory. 
Yeah, now, wow, it went up to 100 instead of 50. Didn't it say it would just increase it by 10? Did it, was it 50? But okay, we can carry 100 now. That's awesome. Oh, okay. Well, that was kind of a stressful beginning. Well, let's see what we can find around here. Let's check you out. Oh, nice. Okay, what, how much of this can I take? Okay, I got a first aid kit. That's handy. Grenade, caliber. How do I know where my... Uh, huh, okay, grenade. Now we got purifier, so if I right click and say assign. Ooh, then I can choose where to put it. Okay, so if I say four for that. Then say... Okay, I can't assign the food. I have to eat it in here, apparently. What is... Okay, no, I want to get out of that. Okay, you found a first aid kit. Uh, yes, okay, we can assign it. It's assigned to five. Found medicine. Okay. Um, can I find a backpack around here? Because he has most of... Uh, shield piece. Okay, well, there's still that guy who's... Oh, look at this. You found a backpack. Backpack allows you to carry a lot of things. Backpack is not available during combat and items placed in backpack cannot be assigned to shortcut keys. Okay, but how much room do we have? Ooh, that's nice. Okay, what is the problem? Am I hungry or... Health is going down. That's not good. Um, okay, let's try and use this. Oh. Why did it die? My health wasn't down to zero. Um. Oh boy, I should have saved. <laughs> okay, well, I think we're gonna end the episode here, and then next time we are gonna try and I guess start over again. I don't know. Let's see if there's. Yeah, it hasn't auto saved. Um. I was actually thinking about saving after that I talked to that guy, but well, I might start over and try and get to that point again, and then we will continue from there. But uh, yeah, there's definitely uh, some things that are a little, a little buggy still in the game, but it is early access. Do you remember that? And um, well, I kind of like all the story stuff. That I enjoy. I do really like that. The combat also seems a little wonky. It's really hard to find out if you're actually hitting something, especially with melee. I can see it with... Uh, I tried right-clicking with melee to see if you could kind of aim with that too, because it's really hard to see what you're hitting at, actually. Um, I feel like it should have been first person then. If you... I don't know if you can even switch to first person, actually. Um, is that an option? Control, sprint, crouch, take aim, race, shield. I did try and pick up a shield first at some point, but I don't really know where it ended up or if I even got it. Um, because when it's uh, it's really hard to see where you are hitting with the um, melee weapon in third person. I didn't really feel like I was actually hitting the guys. That was just me spamming away, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think, guys. I do intend on making some more videos of this and see if I can at least progress a little bit. And as I mentioned, there is a Discord. I haven't actually checked if they have like, um, if the link is available for me to share, but if it is, then I'll have it in the description below. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching, guys. And as always, do take care and Happy gaming!